All right. Hello, it's me again. Okay. So, I was just going to do a quick tutorial on the 3D Virtual Lash um, Unique Mascara. I have been using this now for about five to seven months. Um, I absolutely love it. I use it every day, so I'm really used to it, and I go really, really fast. Um, so, bear with me. I'm going to try and slow it down on this video. Um, I also usually wear um, really heavy winged eyeliner, um, but for this tutorial I didn't so you can see the actual mascara working more. Um, so let's get started. Um, what I used today um, all over on my face was our Mineral Touch Cream Taffeta Foundation. I love this stuff. I love the cream foundation. The coverage is awesome. Make sure you go down that way you know it doesn't clog your pores. Um, and then I like to top off with a press powder. Taffeta as well. Um, I like that color a lot. It matches me perfect. Um, and then for my eyes, I actually used one of our pigments. I decided to go with the matte ones. Um, this one is called Innocent. It is the light one. I don't know if you can see. I kind of put it all over. And then after that, I put Infatuated in my crease. Usually I go a little darker with this one, but again, for this video, I did it. Um, and you will really like these. Um, they have little like little holes and so you just need a tiny bit these will last you forever um, also a cool trick that I learned is that in your mascara box um, kind of looks like a sunglass case really cool the mascara comes in I've gone through a couple of these now about two this is my second mascara I'm using so once I'm out I put my eyeshadows in here and they fit perfect awesome okay so let's get started um, when you order the mascara it will come in a unique like wow, a little unique box whoopsies anyway um in this box you have your natural fibers as well as a transplanting gel and it comes with little instructions so the first thing you do is open these up and read them and kind of go off that um the first thing it says to do is to put a thin layer of your regular mascara on as a base I used to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. Um, it was kind of clumpy, but I like that look. So um, I would do this a lot. But now this is just, this is lasting me forever. It's literally my bottom coat. So let me start with this. I already have a thin coat on. Um, so let me start with this for you guys. Um, you can do the bottom as well. Don't mind my goofy faces. I don't know what I do. Um, I'm sure you guys make goofy faces too. <laughs> so, let me see. And then you take your um, Mood Struck Transplanting Gel. This stuff is awesome. You want to make sure that you use a lot of this after you put your fibers on so that they don't come off at all. Um, and what I do is just kind of take it out and again put it all over my eyelashes and then again on this one and on the bottom I have found I know I'm sure people do it differently but I have found that when I do the fibers if I just go in an upward motion and not down too much I feel like I get more length um, that's just me though you don't have to do that and then this right here is the unique um, natural fibers for your 3D mascara so you put these on and you just kind of go up and this will lengthen. I kind of do it rough and some fibers fall on my cheeks but since I have the powder I just wipe them away with a brush and they go right away. Um, let me put a little bit underneath. I usually don't do my bottom because it makes them too long. Um, it's crazy to say that but they start touching my cheeks so but I will today. Um, I like to do, usually on a daily basis, I do about probably like two coats. Um, if I'm going out, I try and do four because um, I'm an eyelash freak. So, now this is the transplanting gel again. You go over it, make sure you coat it both sides really good. That way it will not fall off any of those fibers and they will adhere and stay. Um, this is also water resistant which is awesome 
I uh, used to buy waterproof, but they would irritate my eyes, and I guess I never bought the right makeup remover for it or something. So I always had an issue with that. Um, and then again, I'm going to do another coat of the fibers. Isn't that amazing? Look at this. My eyelashes are growing. Every single time I do this, they grow. And I just love it. And then... do over with my transplanting gel again these are seriously insane if you want seriously insane eyelashes this stuff is for you it is awesome and once you get used to it you'll go really quick you won't even think about it um so again a little more um this is my third coat you can always do more I will stop here at my third coat um if you you can also get they have, um, I like, like, thicker eyelashes, but if you prefer not to have, um, the thicker ones or whatever, or, like, I guess, clumpier, then you can also, they have a eyebrow and eyelash brush and comb, which does awesome, and it does wonders. But let me show you here. This is seriously amazing, you guys. Um. And you let it dry. Um, you can also do more if you want to. But I am going to work today. And um, I think three coats is more than enough for me. Um, so I don't know if you can see these up close or not. Let me see. Um, but these are absolutely crazy. So hopefully you can see this and see what these eyelashes are doing. Hopefully. Well, anyway, I hope that you try this product out. It is absolutely amazing. Um, yes, I'm doing this tutorial on my carpet floor. Makeup confessions from my carpet. Um, so, that's the best lighting I could find. Hopefully, I can find better lighting from here on out. Good thing it's a sunny day today. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I will be having some more tutorials soon. Um, definitely one on eyeliner and probably some on contouring. Um, I like to do that a lot. Put a little bit darker around my face and through my cheeks and everything and we'll go over all that. Alright, see you soon. Bye!